Is it hard to play banjo? If you already play guitar? This is kind of a big question because there's a lot of different types of banjos and a lot of different styles of playing. There's the plectrum banjo, tenor banjo, but most people are thinking of either the five string resonator banjo or the five string open back banjo. So the first challenge for a lot of guitar players is the tuning on the banjo. We use what's called a re-entrant tuning, meaning that our highest open string is on the top and then it goes to our lowest. Because of that re-entrant tuning and a few other things, we don't tend to strum our chords like a guitar player. If you're playing in a more bluegrass style, you'll do rolls over the chords, which basically just means you'll finger pick the chords. If you're playing in a claw hammer style or a more old time style, you will strum, but it's a three part strum. So you have a no, strum, Playing melodies is where the banjo will really start to separate itself from the guitar. Melodies on the guitar tend to be pretty linear and will generally stay in one section. Bluegrass banjo will play melody in a lot of different ways, but the three most common are Scrugg style, Melodic style, and Reno style. Scrugg style will take the core parts of the melody and mix it in with rolls and licks. Melodic style will keep a lot more of the melody, but in order to keep your right hand flowing and to avoid the low sustain on the banjo, it'll spread the melody over more strings. So you won't normally have more than one or two consecutive notes on the same string. Reno style or single string style most closely resembles the guitar on the left hand and on your right hand, you use alternating fingers to work like a guitar pick. Clawhammer banjo takes the melody and mixes it in with that three-part strum we talked about earlier. The way you would play a tenor banjo or a plectrum banjo does resemble a guitar a little bit more closely. Neither has the fifth string and both are played with a pick. The plectrum banjo has a long history in early jazz and ragtime music. The tenor banjo is still very popular in Irish music, but outside of those genres, you don't see them a lot. So back to the original question, is it easy to learn banjo if you already know guitar? I think if you've learned some finger style guitar stuff, it can help you with your right hand. But if you're trying to approach the banjo like a guitar player, it might get kind of frustrating. The banjo and the guitar are pretty different. Treat the banjo as its own thing. Learn to approach the banjo, think about the banjo, and play the banjo as a banjo player and not as a guitar player. And of course, if you're interested in learning, find a good teacher. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of stress.